a number of improvements have been made to the Setup Sheet add-in. Firstly, Setup Sheets can now be exported to Microsoft Excel with the exported file type indicated by the chosen template. Secondly, custom setup sheet configuration has been made easier with the addition of more fields for the tool. These include things such as the tool comments. This allows you to customize the placement of the individual elements of the tool details and thus improves setup sheet localization. There are also some new additional fields available in the part documentation dialog which are also passed over to the setup sheet. In this example I've got my milling part file and the first thing I'm going to look at uh, is the part documentation area. So we can go over to my file menu, part documentation and you'll notice here we have some information regarding who created the part and we've got some additional information here such as the fixture model that's been used and the material that we've machined out of. What you'll notice there are three additional fields now entered uh, that we can uh, uh, pass over information uh, to the uh, setup sheet. So we've got a company, so for example I'll put Delcam in there. We've got a part drawing number, this could be a number for example, and then a revision, let's say it's revision 32. We can say OK. That information will now be held within the part document itself and when I create my setup sheet that will be passed over to the setup sheet dialog as well. Now I've already turned on my setup sheet add-in and you can see here the setup sheet add-in is located like so. When I select this you'll notice that we get the additional information that I've just entered in our part documentation. As well as this you'll also notice the output type. This is a new area which allows us to indicate whether we are outputting our setup sheet as HTML or as Excel. This is dictated by the template that we choose. For example, at the moment you can see the default choice is HTML. If I choose for Browse Template and select the XLS or the Excel file and say Open, you'll notice it will switch over to an Excel output. I can then go ahead and create my setup sheets. Note I've already captured my document images in this case. This runs through the machining sequence and then opens Excel like so. You can see my setup sheet has been generated. In this case you'll also notice that we have things, for example, the tool comments have been output for this particular template. If I go back to my setup sheet dialog and again Browse for a template, and this time I'm going to switch to Setup Sheet Template and say Open. You'll note the HTML template is there like so. Again, we can run through Create Setup Sheets, and this will generate a HTML equivalent. What you'll also notice is this particular template also has the output for our information that we put in our part documentation as well. All of the fields within these templates are fully customizable whether you're doing or whether you're using the Excel or the HTML type. If I browse the directory, in this case it's the add-in directory, you can see I've got the two template types. I've got my Excel and I've got my HTML. If I open this you'll notice that I get all of the tags that detect the output from FeatureCam and enter those into those particular fields. So you'll notice here, for example, I've got the tool details, tool length, tool diameter, and so on. Within Excel, these are also grouped together as grouped loops. We can verify this by just simply going to the pull-down menu, and for example, selecting the tool loop, it'll identify all of those areas that are output throughout that loop. If you look at the HTML template, again you'll notice similar tags and in this case you can see we've got the FM company, part number and FM revision in this template. All of the tags as I said are customizable and you can go to your HTML setup, setup sheet help file and then you can click on the embedded tags and this will show you all the tags that are included 
for that setup sheet generation. You simply copy one of these and that will output the particular item under this description.